morning, it's like quarter past seven and we're just leaving the hotel to go to a white water rafting trip. My face is really shiny and red. I've literally put like a small bit of concealer on my chin and my nose and under my eyes. And then but now my forehead's a dick shiny. But we're ready to go. I'm a bit, not a bit, I'm very nervous. I'm nervous about the weather because the forecast is under 30% chance. That's the way you get really forecast. 30% chance of thunderstorms from 10 o'clock and um, we won't be getting back to the launch thing till like 12 so I don't know what that means for our trip yeah, back. we'll be getting back to that lodge where we arrive at oh, 12 okay. so oh, okay. I don't really know what's going to happen with that and yeah and I'm scared of the actual white water rafting so I don't know how this is going to go but we shall see, we're into the parking garage, getting in our car, we just need to make sure we get a crack along, so we've got to be there by 10 past 8, but it says it'll take about 40 minutes from Banff, so hopefully it should be fine. It's 5 past 8 and we've arrived at the bathroom place, this is the part where I'm starting to put my pants a little bit. Are you your coat, or not? Yes, I'm taking my coat, I'm just a bit, a bit scared now. Not a bit, quite a lot scared now. <laughs> Stylish in your wetsuit, mate. There she is. Still getting roll ups done up. I've got Luke in his stylish outfit now. Definitely worth doing. Just sorry, I just clocked my hair. <laughs> so we went with, they called it Chinook, didn't they? What is Chinook? And they called it Chinook. Yeah. But it's spelt like Chinook. They called it Chinook. So we went with them and we did the Horseshoe Canyon um, one that's like the medium one, I think. There's like a family one, that one, and then like a really intense one. So we did that one, and I was obviously really be scared, but it wasn't too bad in the end. I didn't do the cliff jumps, Luke did the cliff jumps, and we did, I, did, I didn't go in the front of the boat, because you could go in the front of the boat for some of the rapids and like sit in the front as it like washes over you. I didn't do that, but I did it. I went in the boat, I paddled, I experienced it, so. You did indeed. Yeah, so I was there. I just didn't do any bits that I was a bit like, Ooh. So, now we're heading back to Banff to get, well, we're gonna have a shower and stuff and get ready for this evening, or this afternoon, whatever, and then we're gonna go into Banff town and probably get some like, lunch type thing. 
because we haven't been eating very much so far today as usual but um, we need to have a shower and warm up and everything first so we're heading back to the hotel we will be back in about 10 minutes because we've done most of the drive already and yeah that's it that's the update back at the hotel we've just had showers and got ready it's now half two and we're getting we're gonna get the bus into town to go and get something to eat and oh dropping the camera we there is a chance of some sort of as well raincoats and warm clothes on because it might be great weather but i'm ready to have something to drink I'm ready something to eat. eat yeah i'm starving when I came here last time, my mum had to have an emergency dentist appointment and as we walked into the shopping centre, I was like, the dentist is in here and then I saw a sign that says Banff Dentistry so this is where my mum had to have an emergency dentist appointment when I came 12 years ago <laughs> which is quite weird that you found our way in here by accident How are you finding your first Dairy Queen? Very well, my first Dairy Queen it's not even first meal, it's first proper food really, isn't it? But it's good. We're going to have a good deal. Get a drink, three pieces of chicken and cheese. And it's a big drink, it's not like a little drink. Yeah, but this is a, like America basically. And then ice cream. So I'm chuffed. Christmas in July. This is our hotel behind us, the Caribou Lodge. And when I came 12 years ago, when I was 15, the whole roof looked like this green. And they're redoing it now. You can't really see it because it's like blown out with the light. But they're all redoing all the copper, so it's really coppery here. And then that's the old like, damaged copper. And it's weird because when I came, the whole thing was green, and we like recognised it as like the green, the green hotel. So Luke had me move. We recognised it as like the green hotel. And our friends, like friends we met, like my mum, and dad, and that met out here. It's, like we made friends with them when we were out here. Mum made friends with them on the plane. Um, they were staying there and it's sort of like a signifier like they're at the green roof hotel but now that's completely changed because it's now not the green roof hotel because they're making it all coppery it does look really cool i really really like it but i'm guessing it will end up green again so it will won't it it'll end up green again yeah, it. so it's a very expensive task and upkeep and obviously labor intensive but it looks really nice yeah, yeah you say that, but if it was green when you came, when did you come? 12 years ago. So, I mean, it might have been changed since, I wonder how often. I doubt it. it. But yeah, that's the story of our hotel. We've finished wandering around Banff Town now, and we've come back to the hotel just for a little respite, get rid of our bags. Well, say it, our bags loose. So many shopping. No, half of it's yours. No, I, we, I got souvenir -y stuff, yeah. it's joint stuff. I bought two things. You bought two t-shirts and a jumper. Yeah, but from two stores, so that's two bags. So, yeah, so we're back from the shops and we're now going to head out to dinner. We've got changed, I've put like a denim jacket on instead of my North Face in the same blue. And he's changed his jeans. We're going to meet someone I'm friends with from home who lives out here at the moment for dinner, so I don't know how much I'm actually gonna like film tonight because we're just gonna have dinner together. Hopefully, it's really hard to organise because we don't have a Wi-Fi or signal or anything. But doing our best. So we're just gonna get the bus into town now. This is a fresh face. If you ever did see one, I literally just think, oh my god, my face is a bit red. And I brush my teeth and I'm ready for bed. But um, yeah, I haven't filmed anything this evening because. We met my friend from home who's currently living out here. We met him for dinner. We went to Eddie's Burger Bar, which was really nice. 
Um, and then his last bus, because he lives in Canmore and we're in Banff, his last bus back was at 10 o'clock, an absolute sod to law. Um, his bus was pulling away as we walked to the bus stop and that was the last one. So we ended up coming back to our hotel and we had some drinks and then um, he ended up getting a taxi back to Canmore and um, he probably left about half an hour ago now. Yeah, probably about half an hour ago. Luke's looking at me blankly. <laughs> got this big loop of hair. So he probably left about half an hour ago. It's about half past midnight and we're just quickly rushing because we're leaving tomorrow morning and we need to pack stuff. So we're just quickly rushing around trying to pack everything up as much as we can. Well, I am. Luke's going to do his in the morning because he's better in the morning. I'm better doing stuff like this evening because I'm not very good at getting up early. So I've packed most of my stuff away. Got out what I'm wearing tomorrow and that's the long and the short of it. We need to make a plan for tomorrow, so I'll probably discuss that with you tomorrow and let you know what's going on then because tonight we just really need to get to sleep because we have potentially a very early start. So if we do, then we need to get some sleep because we had an early start this morning. We should have early starts and late nights. On holiday, mostly, we go to... like. Where did we have loads of sleep? It must have been that first day we had loads of sleep. Because we got here, obviously we'd missed out a bit, but we got here at like four, fell asleep by like five, and then woke up at 11, realised we missed it, and then went back to sleep. We slept all the way through till the next morning. We had so much sleep that day, and then we're just making up for that by not having any sleep at the moment. So, yes, I will stop waffling on, and I'll see you in the morning. But we've had a very nice day in Banff. It's been lovely to have a little wander around the town and look around the shops and see the town of Banff. But tomorrow we are moving on to our next destination. Oh my god, look at the town on my elbow. How bad is that? Oh. <laughs> town never goes well for me. But yeah, I'm going to say goodnight and I'll see you tomorrow. On, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Wednesday. Wednesday. No idea what date, but yes. Goodnight and I'll see you tomorrow.